In this course, you're going to learn all about CSS grids from the specification to all the properties you can use, how to really apply this in practice, what the advantages are, how to really create your layouts very fast and with just a few lines of code, and then also how this integrates with other parts of your CSS code, how to use this together with Flexbox because those two actually complement each other, how to use this together with SAS, the popular CSS preprocessor, and all those kinds of things. So at the end of this course, you're going to have a really strong foundation in CSS grids and also how this integrates with other technologies and other parts of your CSS code. So CSS grids are going to be a great way to improve your workflow and to really facilitate your day-to-day -day design tasks. Now let's take a look at some examples of what you're going to be able to do after finishing this course. Now you can see here this course has quite a few lectures in it. And you're going to be learning all about all the properties in the specification. Plus we're also going to talk about specific use cases, how to use it in practice and how it integrates with Flexbox and SAS. And now what you'll be able to do here, you can see of course you're going to be able to create very classic grids which kind of reflect here a header with a main content, a sidebar and a footer. So this is actually one of your exercises you will do during this course. Then also you're going to see how you can create a grid here, for instance with two rows, four columns, but independent of the order in the markup, you can also change the order of elements on the page using just CSS, which is not possible without Flexbox or CSS grids. So those are the only two module layouts or modules in CSS which allow you to achieve this so-called source order independence. So in the HTML here it's actually ordered from item 1 to item 8, but you can see that the order is shifted here and you're going to learn how to do this. Now next you're also going to learn how to sketch a layout like this, which is also um, the kind of layout from your project template you will get and you're going to see how to also create a kind of menu bar and all those kinds of things, how to sketch a website like this very fast. And also then how to use nested grids here in order to use a grid inside a grid. So this whole layout here again is used or created using CSS grids. And then this here is actually also a grid with just one row and two columns. So this is a very easy way also to use this and to use nested layouts. Now as another example here, you can also, what's really actually one of the main improvements or main advantages of CSS grid, is you can create a grid like this in just a line of code, or maybe two lines if you want to split this up, but it's really, really concise and allows you to create a grid like this, which really behaves um, in a way that you would expect. So you can define all the width and all the height of the rows and columns. You can also make it more flexible we're going to take a look at that but it's a really great way to create such actually more advanced layouts in a very very easy and concise way all right so i hope you're very excited to learn about this and how to use this so now we're going to dive into how to actually get ready to use css grids so we're going to set up your system to get ready you're also going to learn some of the basics of what css grids are all about and some of the terminology we're going to have to use during this course and then we're going to jump right into the code and go through all the great properties you can use in order to create your grids, your whole layouts, and so on. So I hope to see you again in the next lecture.